Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Once again, sir, good afternoon. Um, it's just the, yeah, it's, I have, it's like one-on-one -on -one for us this afternoon. And if you have, are you already uh, uh, an H5B user, sir? Again, woman, pardon po. Uh, I will um, just uh, increase the volume. Yes. And woman, no, I'm just asking if you have already, are, are you already an H5B user? I'm not yet, pero I'm I'm hearing that H5P before and even okay. uh, nowadays. Po. Yeah, I think it's actually very um, popular nowadays, especially with gamifying content. No, so uh, for for this session, it, th these are just basic. No, for the for this session, I am also I also just demonstrated in the videos two ways on how to make. Um, a gamified content and I will just show you um, like the finished product of the ones that I have made so that uh, you could also you could also see it. Okay, so this is the first one, sir, uh, the one uh, this is for um, this is for drag and drop. It's called drag and drop. No, so uh, most of us, even in uh, face to face, we have like um, um, label the parts of whatever it is, and then in here, because I have also emphasized in in the slides that H five B, yes, it might be entertaining and very attractive to our students but uh, it's really we recommend that we use this one for formative feedback or formative assess assessment no so um, formative assessment because they will have a chance to um, do it again no like they could they could um, they could uh, redo redo the activity until they get it or they get the perfect score and then um, also, if if I mean this is very this is a very easy one, but if it were a complex one, like for example, hindi sa elementary or um, maybe sa high school we're in, um, um, it will be a very complex form of uh, drag and drop. No, you could they could actually you could actually show the solution. No, so for example, for this one, if um, So for example, um, we click on show scores and tapos isa lang yung tama ng bata. So they have the option to retry, no? Pwedeng retry. Ganyan lang. Okay, so um, for this one, maybe for the other one, it, sh it shows solution. Well, let's make this one perfect now. And then it said style. And then show scores. No, so in the scores portion, you could actually also edit it within, wherein there is penalty. No, if it's a wrong answer, then maybe you could also um, there's penalty. There's a penalty thing going on. And uh, what's good about this one is um, we know that if we really subscribe to h5p.com, no, it would really entail un unless. Um, Yung sa learning management system nyo, uh, they are subscribed to it. Like for example, sa Moodle, they could actually um, install install a plugin para uh, kasama na siya sa learning management system. But if it's not, then uh, you could actually just reuse. What's good about it is you could reuse content. You could go to you could go to um, H5P. Let's let's try. And then you click on examples and downloads and you have like a variety where you could choose, you could choose from, like for example, for drag and drop, you just click on that one. And then you, there, there are actually like a lot of ideas and even concepts where you could choose. And 
if your activity is nearest to that particular one, then you could just reuse, no? You could reuse that particular content and then maybe tweak or uh, make it your own if you if you upload it. So um, once, once you click on reuse, ida download mo talaga yon, but you cannot open it uh, offline. We cannot open it offline. So we have to, again, upload it, no? So what happens here, for example, this one, we, we'll just download it, reuse, and then we have to log in. No, that's why um, creating an account should be should be done, so that we will have a chance to um, reuse content. And then we click on contents, and then we create new content. Okay, and then we just upload. No, so yung yung the download natin, we will just upload it back so that we would be able to we would be able to reuse it. And then we click on use. So we have uploaded it na. Tomorrow, um, Sir Jade will be the one to um, um, demonstrate to you on how to embed. Meaning, Ayaw nyo na dito lang sa H5P um, mag magagawa. You could actually place it in your own uh, learning learning platform, maybe your own uh, personal website or educational website. Uh, it could actually be embedded. So um, that's what's good about um, H5P. No, so you could actually have a lot to explore no yung sa amin we just uh, featured mga five lang dalawa sa akin tapos tatlo bukas but you could still go through a lot no you could just click on them and then uh, try it on your own if hindi siya kasama sa uh, mga na aming videos okay so any anything that you would want to learn sir or maybe uh, ask a question about H5P. Yeah. Uh, I'm, ano po, uh, how to, ano po, how to uh, down, download that or use that, uh, I mean, uh, interactive site or the applications there. I just, uh, I would just go to the H5P and then afterwards, yes. after so I go, go there. H5P, H5P.org, sir. You just go to h5p.org and then make sure that you create a free account because uh, you, um, you cannot reuse or you cannot also edit. No, you cannot edit what you have downloaded if it's not within H5P. That's why uh, you could actually download. No, you could download... Um, Free contents, like for example, hindi ka nakalog in, and then you just click on examples and downloads, and um, maybe you have like you saw something in arithmetic quiz, no? That is actually um, usable to you, no? Parang usable siya sa you. Uh, you could just click on reuse. Itong it's a lower, sa lower left corner, may reuse siya. This portion here reuse and then it will download the whole thing you have to download it but the thing is you cannot upload it or you cannot edit it outside of h5p.org that's why you have to create a, uh, an account because if you have an account then you can actually edit it that's the time you could uh, edit your edit whatever it is that you have downloaded so um this one, uh, like for example, if you already have an account, uh, I'm I'm I I went there na po eh, but it says here that sign up for thirty days free trial. I know. Need to click that. No, sir. Uh, are you in h5p.org? Ah, dot org. It's supposed yeah. to be org h5p.org. Yes, Dot org. Okay. And then, uh, okay. Yeah, kasi yung sa dot, 
Com, yun yung may bayad talaga. Oo. Ah, all right. And then I will create free account after I click that create free account. Free account yes. I need to log in po ba using my Gmail or it's it will yeah, be it, new, it, it will be a new one. It will be um you could actually make use for me sir I just made use of my Gmail actually. Pero ano naman uh, you could you could actually just make your own no you could just uh, click on you could just click on create free account and then you will be given this one no so it's not actually exclusively for gmail pwede namang ano iba but i can put my email address there as well as the password of my gmail so that it will Oo, be ano parang isang ano na lang parang isang login yeah. na yeah pwede naman Oo. Pero wala siyang login na parang the usual that we have na login through Gmail or la walang ganon. So you really have to you really have to log in manually. No, wala siyang login through Gmail po. Okay, I see. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So other questions sir if you if you have ganda to kasi one on one talaga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, after I have my account there, free account, and then every time that I will be introducing that or will be using the, the activities there, I need to open the H5P and then I can share that the, the link of the worksheet to my student. Po. Pwede Tama naman siya, sir. Or, ano na lang, uh, for tomorrow, because uh, Sir Jade will be, you could actually embed, no? Let me see. Uh, in our ano po kasi, ma'am, we don't have the LMS as well, eh, but we are we are ano we are using the the Zoom every day. Ah, okay. I just like this one po. Meron? Do you have like um a personal website? Pwede naman im pwede naman mo na mang embed yon sa website. Kasi embed would mean it's really very easy also. So, uh, in here, no, if you just click on embed, but this will be actually, this will be um, repeated by Sir Jade, no, you will, you will just get this one, this whole thing here, no, when you click on embed and then um, in your personal website, you could also embed it, no, pwede namang ganun, or this one, you could just, yeah, uh, the one that you said earlier, um, you want that they will access it. Uh, they will access it uh, using the link. Pwede, pwede rin naman. Uh -uh. Pwedeng, pwedeng link, pwedeng i-embed sa kahit sa, sa website mo, personal website mo. Pwede rin. And then po once that once uh, we are doing the activity there or the work we're answering the students are answering the worksheet there. As a teacher, I can also see their uh, no po, their scores, uh, the name of the student and score, same thing with the other sites. Hindi siya wala pa siyang ganon unless it is actually embedded in your learning management system, sir. I think that's also a disadvantage. No, if it's just uh, it's just really. Um, the link, hindi siya nagbibigay ng ano, yung uh, history or even the list or the, the scores of the students. Unlike if it's really embedded in your learning management system. Because uh, like for us, uh, we have it embedded in our, we could actually see the scores. No, we could actually see the scores. That's why it is said here, this is uh, good for immediate feedback lang but not necessarily um, yung um, recorded scores or recorded uh, marks for this month. Especially if you're just using the, the link. Yeah. So for this one, like for, for my second one, it's actually a, a, a crossword puzzle, no? So uh, it's it's... It's quite right. Yeah, it's really good because you could actually have extra clues pa. So, ano siya? Yeah. So there. In here, meron na siyang show, show solution. No? Show solution. But all of these are 
yung um yung checking, retrying, even if you don't want others to reuse and embed, no, you could actually place it in the settings portion. You could just disable, you could just uncheck them if you don't want it uh, accessed by others, only by you. So, yeah, I only, I only uh, have two for for the session kasi basic lang um for tomorrow you will have three and then you will have proper embedding you no know, if ever may um website na talaga yan lang po so um ano lang siya um you cannot we cannot uh, edit it anywhere else unless in h5p no so that's why we we really have to to log in yan lang other questions sir meron pa <laughs> uh, so far i'm trying to log uh, i'm trying to create account there <laughs> that's why i'm typing po ayan pero I, ano pala very easy. Yes, yes, I sir. don't have I don't have any questions. I don't have any question naman po regarding that. Uh -uh. Maybe I try uh, to explore this one because yes. uh, as I noticed there uh, earlier, uh, there are lots of uh, interact. Uh, I mean, uh -huh. uh, lots of worksheet that my student can really enjoy. Yes, ang dami sir. Oh, oh. you could really you could really explore ang dami niya. Uh -oh. And then, and then, yeah, it's not just, there are also intricate ones. Like, for example, um, I have tried um, time frame, but it's really very, it's really, really um, interactive and very attractive also in um, uh, using timeline, especially in history. But yeah, it would really also take us time, but yeah, it, you, you could just you could just um, one uh, tip the one tip also before before especially if we are reusing content, dapat nating linis and we have to like delete also everything first before we start, no? Because mm -hmm. we cannot baka may baka may ibang text or there are images that are still there that were part of the previews and. Uh, I haven't made it part of the um, the video, but it's very also um, intricate or detailed. Even uh, if we yes, we have the the right to reuse it, but we also have uh, to be careful or to be also to also indicate kung saan galing yung image natin, kung saan galing yung um, mga questions natin so there are really buttons within the edit uh, editable page no for those so we really have to also uh, place now the right uh, the right links now the right links for those for our sources Ayan, ma'am. I'm done ano, creating my account. So I went to the, ano, I clicked the, the, the one, the, the, the drag and drop. Drag, drag the, and drop. The, yes, yes, after sir. that, I can, uh, at the lower part, there's a word here, reuse and, and yes, sir. embed. Okay, so if you I will be... So you on reuser. If, if I will be creating... Ah, it, it will be downloaded. And then, yes. how can I edit this one, ma'am? Okay, so you've already you have downloaded already, sir. Ah, uh, ito po. I I will download it. Ayan. Ayan, okay. and done. Ayan. Tapos um kung nakalog in ka na, so you click on your account parang my account dito, no? So you click Ito. on that one and then you click on contents. Um, content. Then create new content. My account and then content. 
Recent. There's no ano here, ma. Ah, content. Content. Yeah. And then after I click the content. Create new content, sir. Okay. Matagal lang po. <laughs> Yan, here. Create new content and then. Then parehas na tayo ng ano. Screen. Yes po. Yes po nga. So, we click on upload. Ito. Dito. Upload. Okay, the upload one. And then upload oh. a file. Yes. Then. Okay. And then we click on the one that we have downloaded earlier. Yes, po. Okay, and then open. After that, po. Then we click on use. Yes. And then we're already on the page where we could actually edit. So, pwede na natin siyang i-edit. Okay. So, for this one, Okay, so ito, wala naman siyang uh, mga, wala siyang background image, pero dito lang siya. So, we, we click on, there are just like two tasks, the first step and the second step. So, dapat, uh, if, if similar lang yung ano mo, yung activity mo, you could just edit, maybe the flags. Pero, if it's a totally different set of, ano, set of activity. So, we have to delete everything. So, isa-isa natin i-delete. Talaga siya. So, that we could also use, uh, we could also use, no? That one. Tapos po, after I removed. Okay. Let me remove first. Granting everything is already removed, no? So, uh, if you need like um, a picture or an image, so you could add, no? So, you just click on that one, no? Picture or an image. For mine, I actually just made use of a background image. Background lang siya. So, what happened to mine was um, I, I just placed it in uh Step one, and I'd, I added a background image, like for example, this one. So what I did was, I just click on that one, and it, and I place it as a background image. And then once I was done, I just clicked on step two. Okay. And then, nakikita na yung, let me just remove them. And then I'll just go back to this portion here so that I'll make it bigger. Just to resize. So, ayan. Background lang siya for me. It's a background. And then we click on the drop zone. So, we have to we have to be, um, like for example, we have to add the drop zones first. And then later na yung text. And later na yung answers talaga. So, we, we, we do the drop zone. So, the, first, the label here is just like a number or maybe a letter. Just so my pangalan yung drop zone. So I just used a uh, number, no? And then I drag it to that portion kasi gusto ko um, dyan yung they will have to drag it there, no? Or drop it there. And then another drop zone. Like for example, for me, I hindi naman lahat
there. We'll just have three. If everything, if all of the drop zones are already placed, that's the time we click on text. No? So um, we will just place the answer, kung ano yung mga answers natin. So we have uh, stigma. Sorry. And then don't forget to select all, meaning it could be dragged to all uh, the, the, the drop zones. And then we click on done. Okay. And then we just place it someplace para naman there's that, um, there's that essence of dragging it to that particular place. Parang ganon. And then uh, we have over here. So, and then done. Okay, so, okay. yan lang. And then last, filament. Okay, sorry. Then last text, it's filament. And then we click that now they they have they are not yet um yung they are not yet actually paired with a drop zone so wala pang right answer jan we would just place the text so what we do is we double click on the drop zones and get the answers from there so like for example this one so we double click on that one and then yung answer is stigma so siya lang yung i-check natin and then we click on done and then go to another drop zone double click si ovary si ovary lang ang yung yung right answer then done and then in here si filament lang and then done and then we're all actually done no we're actually done what you uh, you have the options of the overall feedback here if you want to really place your own set of it's like the generic this is like the generic feedback if you want a range of feedback nasa sayo na yan. this one so this is what i was talking earlier that you could if you don't want them to retry or if you don't want them to see the solution maybe you just want them to retry until they get it right or you don't want them to show the solution it's up to you no and then you could also apply penalties there and then in here this is like default because they are promoting that you should also share what your content to to everyone no that's why everything is actually uh checked here which means people could embed whatever or people could download and embed your work as well no so there but of course you have a choice if you don't want it shared pang pang classroom mo lang talaga and then if you're done, then you just click on save. And then you are automatically um, the, you direct, redirected to a preview and a trial. So you also have, kasi baka, uh, like for me, I, I had checked the yun bang, um, penalty. So pag wrong yung isa, talagang wrong na silang lahat. So maybe you could also, you could also, try it out parang ganun. so it's really just uh it's really just very easy no parang five minutes lang o oh, oh, parang five minutes lang if you have the right um image and then you already have um eh kasi it's it's uh this is like uh immediate feedback gusto mo ng immediate feedback so you could actually um do it like this or you could aside from if, if you want it done synchronously no pwede naman na uh, you give them the link tapos iya access iya access mo sa sa ano mo and then let's just let's just answer it o saan ba saan ba banda ang stigma ganyan ganyan and then you could also check it yourself and everyone could also see it so yeah pwede naman siya ganun uh, okay okay and um, for the other one, that was uh, the other one that I made was crossword. So something that you could just leave leave them with, no? 
especially for motivation or maybe introductory activity, you know. So it's also very generic, which can be used in any. Uh, what are you handling, sir? I'm handling grades four to six. Ah, uh, so I think this Kids. kind of yeah, this kinds of activities would really entice them to to be engaged, no, or motivate them to be engaged. Yeah. So yun po. Yeah, so okay. it's really very easy. I hope maybe by tonight baka magawa mo na yung lima, no? Because they are really uh, even the even the uh, the the video they're very short. Yes. And then after uh ayan, when I will show it to the class na I need to open my H5P po. My H5P yes. account. Yes, sir. Uh -uh. But if like for example, if you want to show it to them, no, if you want to show it to them, yung magsisynchronous session kayo, it's the time that you open it. Pero, like for example, um, for the for the other one, for this one, if you want them to answer it on their own before coming to class or before joining the um, the synchronous session, pwede naman. So you will just leave them or give them the um, the the link no pwede namang sa, you will just give them the link yeah so it's really up to you if you want also that you would want to um, answer this one together with the class and pwede rin no yeah so there are really a lot sir uh yeah ang dami niyang yeah there are really a good number of uh Content also that you can reuse. Yeah. So yun lang po. <laughs> so if you have other questions, pwede na, pwede pa rin. Yes. It's like really. So actually, my the one that I made for this one and the one that I made for, they are the same, no? Uh, it's parts of the flower, but in here, we are giving out um questions in the in the in the form of clues clues daw ang sabi nila clues daw so jan lang no it's like actually just uh, in, uh, identification ganyan Okay, ma'am. I don't have any questions naman. Uh, any question naman po. But I will try to ano, explore it po po kasi I'm not yet uh, creating my own draft, ano, my own uh, sheet or the interactive sheet po. Pero I know naman na po the process based dun po yeah. sa, ano, nyo, sa shinare nyo po kanina. Yes. So maybe I'll, I'll try one uh, this evening. And then yeah. after that, I will try, I will try, I will give it to the class tomorrow. And then uh, uh -huh. if they can all access it and we are doing it during synchronous, baka po mapadala yung gamit namin yan. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh -oh. Same po ba siya, ma'am, lang ano? Nga po pala, ma-ask ko na rin. Kasi po, I'm using Nearpad to my class. Uh, okay. And there are also, uh, there are lots of activities there. Is that also the same with the H5P? Um, for, for this one, sir, you could actually also, like for example, yung mga examples na nandyan na, you could still make use of them, no? You could actually still make use of them. Um, for, for H5P lang with... Or that org, no, with that org, this is where this is the community for um, really sharing the content. Lang, unlike in some, maybe for for what you're using, it could just be like uh, exclusive on your own if it's like sa ano mo lang, sa, sa account mo lang, no. So in here, you this could actually be a good platform for for not just for you to make your content, but also to share your content to others. Yeah. Okay po. Sige po, I will, and I will explore it po. Yes. Sige. So, okay na kami since wala nang questions si sir. Ayan na po, ma'am. Okay na po ako doon. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Thank dati you po, for dati po yeah. nakikita ko po siya ay na ang ginagawa ko po, ang pinatake ko po yung h5p.com na po. Oh. I thought it is .com. Uh, it should yeah. be .org, .org. po pala. Yes. So I can open it kasi there's a free 30 days trial lang po yes. sa search. I think that, so, that's a paid version and then yeah, but yeah, it's a paid version but you could you could actually do more than just this one pero uh, with us no especially us we just would need a uh, short a short time to actually make such interactive content so pwede naman dito yeah okay ma'am i'll take note of that thank you po thank you sir thank you din Hopefully tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, tomorrow, if you'll be here, then Sir Jade will be the one to discuss on how to embed it. Especially because you already have like uh, your own personal website or even in Google Classroom, pwede naman din siya. So, tomorrow na yun, sir. Last time po, ma'am, uh, Mr. I don't remember. Is that Sir Friendly? Sir Friendly. Uh, to, uh, yes, uh, uh, po, lecture po siya about on how to create a web account. Yes, yes. Can I also post it there? Yes, sir. Definitely you uh, can. Yeah. Okay. Sige po. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> okay, sir. Thank you. Good afternoon. Okay, again. Good afternoon. Bye -bye. Good afternoon. Uh -huh.